Hi, I'm Ralph, Design Director of Vectinator. Our first version of Autotrace launched all the way back in 2019, and it uses machine learning to turn photographs and pixel-based images into powerful vectors with one tap. Now, we've heard your feedback, and our team has been hard at work crafting the next evolution of Autotrace. And today, I'm more than excited to present to you Autotrace 2.0. We want to support creators from the very beginning of their journey. From the moment your artwork idea starts with a simple sketch, all the way to a vector masterpiece. And our new Autotrace is built just for that. Let's jump right into it. With Vectinator 4.6, you can easily capture your sketches and turn them into vectors. Open the Import tab and tap on the camera scanner to capture your sketches. Now, all you need to do is to select the image and the new Autotrace options will show up in the Inspector panel and Quick Actions. Here, you can choose between Photography and Sketch Modes and slide to change the complexity and contrast values of your result. If you're torn about what options are optimal for your image, we use machine learning to automatically predict and choose the right auto trace value for your image, so you don't have to stress about that. After you hit auto trace, you will notice that your image turned into vectors that you can edit infinitely with Vectinator, like adding brush strokes to refine it. The possibilities are endless here. Now, the new Sketch Auto Trace is not only optimal for sketches. Let me show you some examples of how auto tracing graphics like logos and typography can also look optimal for you. Autotrace is available right now for you to try in the Vectinator 4.6 update on iPad, iPhone, and Mac. And it wouldn't have been possible without our team, Melchior, Leo, Marco, Valerie, and Igor. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting updates from our team soon.